Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy D. Lloyd. So in the last video, I told you guys that we had two scholarships to offer out this year. We were recruiting four players, but we have to go ahead and decide which two we want to go ahead and offer those scholarships to. So the first guy is going to be Davis Houston. He is a 6'11 center, ranked 21st in the country, the fifth overall center. So we're going to go ahead and offer him a scholarship because as of right now, we are number one on his list. I think we have a good shot at possibly bringing him on board. And then the second player is going to be Richard Porter, a 6'2 point guard, number 23 in the country, number 7 point guard in the country. So two very, very solid players. We're both number one on the list. We offer them scholarships. So we had a full week off after the NIT tip-off. So obviously we're going to go ahead and simulate through that week. But while simulating and trying to go to the Weber State game, they both responded to the scholarship offer. So we end up getting our very first commitment. Davis Houston said he will come to Oregon, guys. So we got our very first commit of the season, and it really didn't take too long to get him. We really didn't have to work that hard, but we got the number 23 player in the country. So everything should be good to go from our back court, at least for next season. But then talk about our front court, we get another commitment, and this time it's going to be from Porter. So he's going to be coming as well. So we offered two scholarships, both players committed in the very next week. We have no more scholarships remaining, so we're pretty much done with recruiting for this year, guys. But a very solid class, two top 25 players in the country. That is definitely a way we wanted to start off our recruiting classes for this dynasty mode. But anyway, we're taking on Weber State. Obviously, we're going to go ahead and simcast this, but it's a very back-and-forth matchup, and it's a lot tighter than I expected. I thought we would get this victory in this matchup, but it looks as if we're actually trailing late in the ball game. So we're actually going to jump into it with the minute and 10 seconds remaining. All we got to do is play some defense, get the ball back. Hopefully, we can go down and score and win this ball game. But things don't turn off turn out very well because they knocked down a three to start things off and then now we pretty much have a shot to try to win this game we throw up a three we end up missing it and we end up losing the game 70 to 65 you guys so like i said not that we want to start off we end up taking this l that is two losses in a row the very next game is against texas tech so this game a little bit harder Hopefully we can win and avoid losing three straight because we started off the year pretty well, but we don't want to lose three games in a row. So we're simcasting this right here, seeing what could go well for us, but we're jumping off to an early deficit, trying to come back here before halftime and start off the second half. But Texas Tech, they're going to keep on rolling. They're going to keep the lead late, and Texas Tech is going to end up winning another close game, but they end up winning by three points. So that is three losses in a row. Now we're taking on West Virginia. We're actually going to play this game right here. Hopefully, we can end the losing streak. Looking at the star watch, West Virginia has 10 bridges, only averaging 4.1 points a game. We got Jovan K. Tron, only averaging 6 points a game. So they're looking at the power forward matchup, the battle of the backcourts. I don't know how involved we're going to get our backcourt, but we'll see here. Jumping straight into the commentary. You see right away, West Virginia is going to get to the basket. They're going to get that layup to go down. But right here, we got Taiwan Porter throwing up a three. He gets fouled, and he knocks down the three-point shot. However, he would miss the free throw, which prevented him from getting the four-point play. But anyway, we got Humphrey in the corner. He's knocking it down. He's probably been the most impressive player on our team. But right here, K-Tron gets that hook shot to go down. So we're up 18-6. to six. Now we're kicking it out to Humphrey. Humphrey on the other corner, and he knocks down another three-point shot. So 13 to 10 is the score. Humphrey now with the midi. He knocks that one down as well. So we are expanding our lead up 19 to 13, and we're going to expand it even more, knocking down that three-point shot. We're up by double digits already. Then Humphrey throws up another three. He gets that one to go from the other corner. So we're up 30 to 17 right here. Taiwan Porter comes up with the pickpocket, and then he finishes it on the other end with a layup. So 34 to 19 is the score. The Taiwan Porter isn't done getting that shot to go and he will draw the foul knock down the free throw as well so at halftime we are leading 39 to 21 one heck of a first half that we played so now we're here in half number two west virginia is going to show a little bit of fight they get that shot to go down that right here spinning to the basket they get that layup to go down so the score is 40 to 27 and then they're going to make this an 11 point ball game capping off a 10 to 1 run and then west virginia still not done getting that layup to go down 
Just like that, this is now a seven-point ball game. But we find Humphrey in the corner, and Humphrey knocks down that three-point shot. It's been kind of quiet here in the second half. Then right here, Taiwan Porter throws up a shot. He knocks that one down as well. So 45 to 35 is the score. Trying to play D, but West Virginia gets that tough shot to go down. Then right here, we're going to go ahead and kick it out to Drew Wiley left wide open. Drew Wiley comes up with a huge three-point shot, but West Virginia is not giving up they get that shot to go down so now drew wiley he has to respond throws up a deep three knocks that one down but we're only up by four points right now 59 to 55 and then they're going to make this a two-point ball game now we got about 40 seconds remaining we throw up a shot control cannot get that one to go down so now under 25 seconds we are only up by two we got to play a little bit of defense west virginia gets a good look but they miss it they will have to foul and we end up surviving we knock down both free throws which pretty much capped the game off right there. And we barely hold on, barely survive in this one, you guys. So we are back to 500. Four and four is our record. Hopefully we can start improving upon that. But this game, Humphrey once again led us with 20 points. Taiwan Porter had 19 and 7. So a very good game for him. Drew Wiley had a 12 points. And then looking on the other side, Bridges was the guy they told us to watch. But he did not score at all. It was Richards who had 19 points. And then Manning with 14 points off of the bench. But that is all I have for this episode. As always, I definitely hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm excited for this recruiting class that we have coming down. Let me know what your thoughts are about this recruiting class. But like I said, that's all I have. It's your boy D. Lloyd. I'm going to see y'all next time. Peace.